Hello, this is E.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Sim City. Let's develop some more donut chains in the northeast quadrant of Dvorak. Okay, so now that we've gotten all the infrastructure set up and we have the money, it's time to build a lot of commercial zones all at once. I'm going to build 20 of them since I have the money. And let's see, I also want to help out this donut chain a little bit too. So yeah, we'll get six over there. I don't want to do any more with the donut chain, like over here, because I'm going to have some other uh, manual seat tops that I'll need to develop over here. So let's not finish that off just yet. But otherwise, I'm going to put 14 commercial zones around this donut chain, since we're going to have a whole bunch of industrial zones surrounding it eventually. But we can safely, or safely put some residential zones in the middle there, just fine. Okay, and then for, well, the other residential zones, whatever else I need to build, let's see. Well, we've got plenty of room around here, and yeah, no more art tops that I need to, well, build from scratch, although I want to work on this one a little bit here. Why don't we finish everything else first, and then I'll come back to that. Okay, so let's see. With that, I'll need... Well, let me see what the numbers are for my residential zones so far. Okay, good, good. That's where the numbers should be. Okay, so I'm going to need... Let's see... I think 44 residential zones? Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Okay, 44 of those. And then, let's see... 30 industrial zones. Holy cow! Okay, so... Let's build as many residential zones outside of all this park area so they don't interfere with land value or anything. Okay, so we've got... Let's see. Well, we've already got this one going, so that helps quite a bit, actually. So I can fill this in completely. Although, if I was still working on that one, I would leave the upper right one out. Okay, so we've got two, six... Let's see, I'm not going to put one here because this is like right on the very edge of the parks there and I'd have to put rails there in order to get to this residential zone. So let's not do that one just yet, but we can fill in everything else over here. Okay, 10, then 14, and with this bunch, let's see, oh, you know, oh, I got the fire department over there, okay. I was going to say, I need to build a fire department, but uh, now we've already uh, gotten that taken care of. Okay, so just go all the way up here, and I'm not going to have a valid destination right now for everything, but it'll be fine. We'll get there eventually. Okay, then over here, let's see. Okay, so above where the departments are. And then I think I can just fill this out completely with residential zones okay so we had 14 23 and then with this bunch let's send them over to the fire department and the police department so I'm not gonna connect all these rails right now but eventually I will and I don't think I'd feel the need to go straight across right now at least so we'll just leave that alone Okay, let's go up to 25 residential zones. Fill that in a little bit. Okay, then let's see. That's everything around there. So let's see what I can do over here. Okay, so 25. Let's see, 28. 31. 33. Let's see, 36, 38, okay, so 41, and three more. I'm trying to move the center of the city further northeast right now without destroying anything in the process, which is pretty hard to do. But let's see, in the middle here, I'm still going to need some help in order to get commercial zones to develop into the high class there. As a matter of fact, I'm going to build one extra commercial zone here. 
because I'm going to have the seat top right here, and the upper part has a really hard time of developing into a high class. So, let's get the bottom one done first. That one has a lot of trouble, too. But I can do the bottom one alone, and then I can deal with the upper one later. Okay, so the 4x4 region for this one is right there. So, let's see. If I put one right here, that'll stay out of all the 4x4 regions. Uh, for a minute there, I thought I built a whole bunch of rail there. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, then 30 industrial zones. We've got some more room up here now. I would like to wait for these two to finish up before putting some industrial zones there. Okay, so two there. And then I'm not going to put any industrial zones around here right now because that would probably hurt the development of the commercial zones. So, yeah, let's just keep going over here for now. Okay, so 33. Okay, 40. Or wait, no. No, wait, I built two. Yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, yeah, ten. Okay, yeah, <laughs> whoops. Okay, ten. And then I'm just going to wrap the rail all the way around here. Just so everything is connected. Okay, then let's see, 12, what else do we got? Do I have any, any more room? Oh, a little bit down here. Let's see, okay, yeah, we can get up to 16 here. We don't need that little rail anymore. And eventually I will do more with the rails going across the water, just not right now. Eventually, though. And I'm probably going to need to go down there to build more industrial zones. But I'll see what I can do. So eventually I'm going to put a whole bunch of industrial zones around here. But right now I can't. <laughs> and okay, yeah, I'm going to need to go down here and just start building any industrial zones that I can. Okay, so let's get six over here. So that's 22. Let's see, as far as the rails go, I could go all the way up there if I wanted, but I would rather hold on to my money right now. So let's just get these built here now, and yeah, they're all powered up and ready to go. Okay, then let's see, how about I just mark some areas here for where I'm going to be building rails. I'm going to be putting a donut chain here eventually, just not right now. Okay, so there's two columns there. I'm just going to skip over. And then... Okay, that should be good for where I want to go. Okay, good, good. Okay, so then I want to build eight industrial zones. Let's see, from here, I'm going to build seven. Okay. And then, yeah, let's get the rails going on all the way up here. Okay, then I need one, one more industrial. Actually, you know what? I could probably put just a one up there. Yeah, right here. That shouldn't hurt anything. Okay, then we got our 30. Okay, then, yeah, let's just make sure we get everything powered up. And we're good to go. Since we got the power plant over there, we can use that instead of connecting to everything else. Power lines in the water is treacherous. You want to watch out for that. Ships can crash into it and everything. Okay, now the problem with most of these commercial zones is that they're going to have a really hard time developing into high class because they're so far away from the center of the city at this point, even with the gifts. So, like, yeah, it's way over there on the other side. But I found a little trick that helps with their development, and I'm not entirely sure why this works, but it works. 
basically what I want to do is put a whole bunch of zones that won't interfere in the development of these commercial zones. But, I mean, like, industrial zones. If I put them there, that would really hurt things. My guess, the reason why this works, is that, it, like, a population density thing, if you get a whole bunch of these here, that increases it enough to make it easier to make all the commercial zones into tops. Now, I'm not counting these residential zones into my zone balance calculations, because they're not going to develop at all. <laughs> all they're going to do, I mean, they might, like, one or two, like, maybe down here might develop. But with these industrial zones in the way, they're not going to develop very well. So, I'm just building them there. My guess is that, like, the game doesn't figure, or figure out land value or start calculating it until something is there like with the two by two land values you see in the menu there that i posted up there before oh we're out of money well but that's good i think that's everything that i want to build it better be if it isn't we're screwed but uh okay so i think we've got everything we need we need let's see what we can do with all that let's see with this one Let's demolish all the rails. Just get that to downgrade a little bit. There we go. Up into the high class. And that our top should be able to finish very nicely. So yeah, if you don't have... I mean, parks don't exactly count there. If you don't have a structure or something covering a 2x2 two two area in the grid, then the game just doesn't calculate land value for that area but by building all of these zones in the area even if they have very little population they'll still cause the game to start calculating land value for the residential zones and that land value spills over into the commercial zones at least that's my guess as to why this works don't even need to you know, do any massive shifting of industrial zones, although eventually I will be doing that too. But for right now, these sea tops will develop very easily with these residential zones nearby. Yeah, I just kind of stumbled onto this trick when I was first building this and having trouble getting these sea tops to develop over here. And not too many schools or hospitals. Not that it matters. They still count for land value. But yeah, I couldn't get them to develop at first. So I just started building other things around it. Figuring that, okay, yeah, I'm not going to get this to work until I massively move industrial zones out of the southwest quadrant there. But then when I was building stuff here, I noticed my commercial zone started upgrading. I was like, whoa, what's going on? And, well, that's how I found it. Hooray! Yeah, they're all going to develop into high class, including the one in the southwest corner there. That'll help out quite a bit with the sea tops that I'm going to put over there. And we get another gift for developing 500 zones. Yes, so there you go. So that'll be going in the southeast quadrant, probably. So yeah, even though you see half of these residential zones just aren't developing at all because of all the pollution, but that doesn't matter. It still helps these sea tops get going, and by having everything around here developing very well, I can move the center of the city further in this direction so that way I can build the sea tops in the middle here a lot more easily and yeah best of all because they don't develop I don't need to worry about them uh, off or yeah throwing off my zone balance and everything but uh okay so we got yeah they're all gonna get going there and okay let me see did I like forget to plug in something Make sure everything's got power or something. 
But, uh, okay, we're looking good there. Now we can flesh things out a little better here. Okay, so, yeah, I need to get these sea tops going. Maybe I could put some more residential zones to help out with those two. Even though, yeah, that's going to encroach on the land value there. I'm just going to put them here temporarily to help out. And then I'll let them go or get rid of them. Okay, so we got all that moving. We got the our top going there. Got one more left to go there. And we got the C top up there going. Everything's looking good here. Yeah, very nice. Okay, so we got all those. And I'm just thinking if I want to start moving industrial zones right now, I think I've got enough money to get the job done. But I think I want to wait until I finish off this donut chain here before doing anything else with that. And see if there's any crime going on to worry about. And I've got a lot of schools and hospitals to replace. But, uh, okay, yeah, let's see what we got here with all that population density. Yeah, fortunately, building those police departments in advance is really helping out with all that. Okay, I don't need to replace these uh, schools and hospitals because, yeah, they're just sitting there. They're not, I'm not going to build anything in their place. But these ones, I do want to do that. Oh, and we got the art top over here. That'll help out quite a bit, too. Okay, well, just the two, then. Okay, and then, let's see. Probably a good idea to get another power plant going. I'll need it sooner or later. But I think I'm just going to leave everything else alone. You could also do the trick that I was doing over here. Removing, like, one segment of the rails in order to uh, yeah, cause those industrial zones to undevelop. But I figured, man, let's just take it easy, put the residential zones over there since I didn't have anything there to begin with. Unlike these ones where I built them long in advance. But, uh, okay. So I'm a little concerned about that sea top. Let's see if this helps out quite a bit. And yeah, let's just wait for everything to get powered up. Very good. If necessary, I could destroy some of these rails to downgrade the commercial zones if they get up to like C5 upper instead of high. But I'll keep an eye on that. And I also got to keep an eye out for improper sea tops up above there. Let's see. Well, this one's doing good over there. Just got to get a lot more help over here. And building all these will really help move the center of the city in this direction. I'm surprised more of these aren't spawning schools or hospitals. But, uh, okay, we got the power going. Now, let's fast forward! Well, it looks like some of these residential zones are developing a little, but it's not upsetting my zone balance there and the demand gate, so I think we'll be fine. And once these sea tops start developing up here, then I'm going to replace the residential zones with industrial zones. Yeah, usually I don't like to build so many zones at once like this. Hey, we got a sea top, and it's a proper one. If we could get that one, that would be really nice. Yeah, you two guys just uh, chill there. We'll let the other sea tops go first. Although, if this one... Well, I really hope these two merge because if this one's in the middle there that could create an improper C top uh oh well we got another landfill very nice so with with that let's see let's go over here 
Yeah, put it right there. That ought to be good enough. And that gives me enough room to build a donut all the way around here. So why don't I get a gift going over there? Get that ready to go. Actually, you know what? Put a windmill over here instead. It doesn't matter. They both do the same thing as far as I'm concerned. Okay, so if I go... I think it's right here. With that. Okay, yeah, that'll that'll work. So yeah, I'd like to use this area for a donut and also put my landfills to use as well. But I have a lot of other plans with landfills too. And over here, I'm not as worried about putting power lines across here because the water is so narrow the ships usually won't come along in these areas to crash into them or anything uh oh we got an improper sea top we got to do something about that yeah you see how these two upgraded to high class but unfortunately not the way that I wanted them to go Okay, hold on a sec. Let's go like that to preserve the R top while I remove this one. Then break up the C top, put the rails back, and then this one let this one lose a couple levels there. Anything improper up here? No, not yet. Probably eventually, but. Well, we'll see. Uh-oh! Oh no! One tile of fire right next to a fire department. Whatever shall we do? Leave it alone. It's not gonna, like, spread or anything. But, uh, okay, let's get back on task here. Uh, game? There you go. Okay, there we go. Got the C-top going perfectly. Now we can safely get rid of that. Okay, are we... Yeah, we're on the fastest speed there. Okay, then let me see. Up top there. Whoops. Yeah, just fill in a couple more tiles with parks. Couldn't hurt. We're almost done here. And I'm going to need to save quite a bit of money at this point because my next task is to move all the industrial zones from the southwest quadrant over to the southeast quadrant since I don't have uh, enough land value to get these sea tops going and I don't have any more room up here for industrial zones. But if I could get a whole bunch of these, or a few of these, going, that would make it a lot easier. Well, if you're going to form an improper sea top, just do it now, and I'll figure it out later. Or we could get the perfect sea top. Very nice. Now, if we could get these two or those two, then I don't have to worry about any of the rest of them. They'll finish at my leisure. Let's see, is there anything else over here? Any tops that I forgot about? Okay, let's see. Hmm... Oh, I see what happened. I was wondering why this R top split up. That's because I put a dead end over here without uh, what's it, with the without a valid destination. So, how about we change that for a moment? So you get that out of the way. Hey, we got another proper C top. Okay, so with that out of the way, yeah, that should fix the problem. Okay, then with that, okay, almost done here, and then I can start replacing these with industrial zones. All right, there we go. We got the sea top that I wanted. The rest of them should be very easy. Oh, wow, they're not, now they're really finishing up fast. <laughs> oh, I, I usually do not see that many tops form. How, how many was that? Like... Four and five seconds 
or something? <laughs> wow. Okay, then we got that. While my mind is on it, though, let's see if I can finish off at least one of these R tops. So that way I don't have to remember that for next time. Ah, there we go. Well, we got a uh, C5 high, so that's helpful. And we got an improper R top. Okay, let's go like this for a moment. Break up. Um, let's see. Let's put a rail there. So that way this one can find a valid destination in the fire department there. Okay, yeah, just lose a couple levels there. That'll be fine. And I should be able to maybe build one or two C-tops in the middle there now before shifting all the industrial zones to... Well, not all of them, but moving them to the southeast quadrant where I'm going to be heading over there. But, uh, okay, so we got all that going. So, yeah, we got all those that I'm going to move. I'm going to move some of them over here and some of them I'll move all the way up here now that we've gotten all of these uh, residential zones out of the way. Or, well, I mean all the tops out of the way. I don't mean to worry about that anymore. Okay, so let's see. Let's get these out of the way then. Okay. Yeah, I don't even need to have these ones develop at all. They're just placeholders. Although, I want to leave these here for this C-top. I probably don't need them, but I'll hold on to it for now. Okay, get that over there. And then... Okay, that's all the extra ones there. And then for the industrial zones, there I have 40 of them down here. And that's going to mess up the zone balance a lot when I'm going to rebuild them from scratch. So I'll probably need to reduce taxes a bit. I'll probably wait until next year to get all that settled. But let's at least do cleanup now. Okay, then let's see. What else do we get? I am paused, right? Okay, good. <laughs> but still, I need to, yeah, make sure I keep everything hooked up here. With all of those out of the way. Eh, it couldn't hurt to have some backup power lines. I like having the power lines go into the gifts. That way... Uh, what was that? Yeah, because they're never going to get removed. But if I have to, like, destroy rails or something to get a R top developing or something, then I don't have to uh, move the power lines, at least. Okay, so we got this. Let's see. Okay, you guys are all hooked up. Why don't we get a little backup over here, too? Okay, you're good. And you're good. Okay, so we get that. Okay, let's see how many of these I can build. Not to mention, let's see, I want to, yeah, re redo that part. Get that part out of there. Okay, then from here, I think I have no more police departments to build in this area. Let's see, I think we're good. Yep, yeah, we're good. Okay, then let's see. Okay, so four... 8, 12, 16, 20, okay, so with this part, let's see, ah, okay, let's see, so with that, let's get those out of the way just so I can see more precisely where these 4x4 four four regions are. Okay, so what was that? Uh, 20? Yeah. Okay, then... 
let's leave this alone for now, and I'll put, let's see, well, I've got 20 more that I can lay around here. Okay, so we got all that set up. Okay, 24. 28. 32. Okay, then from here... Okay, 36, 37, 38. Let's see. I don't want to build any more to the right or to the left because that's where I'm going to have some uh, some donut chains eventually. Okay, so if I go, let's see, right here. Hmm. That doesn't seem right. Well, I can put one here, at the very least. Yeah, yeah, I can do it like that. Okay, there we go. Okay, and... Yeah, I'll double-check my numbers off-screen, but I'm pretty sure that I've got everything hooked up here. So, what I'm doing here is I'm going to put the horizontal rail like this, instead of up here. Partially because, like, if I did it here then I couldn't turn the rail to go up in this direction. There's just not enough space with the way I have everything laid out. But all right, can the city survive the move of all the industrials over here? Find out next time on Let's Play Sim City. This is H.E. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.